I am 19 years old and I never really learned how to cook. I was never really interested in it. To be honest, I can bake really good, but I don't know how to cook. So in this video, I'm gonna pretend as if I can cook, but in reality, it's just McDonald's. I'm gonna turn McDonald's food into really beautiful food, like Instagram-worthy food. Anyway, I got this video idea while I was eating at a really fancy restaurant, like, like really fancy. Nothing on the menu card was under 30 euros. I think that's expensive AF and I've never had expensive food like that. So because of the price, I expected really good food, like really, really good tasting food. I was already bracing myself for a really um, hard mouth explosion, you know? I was, I was so ready for the good food because if you're paying 30 euros for a food, then it must be good, right? I was so surprised about the size of the food. Everyone is complaining about gourmet food being so small and I thought that was a myth. I've never seen such little food in my whole entire life. On the menu, they had chicken breast, pasta, and you know, I was expecting food, like a lot of food, especially for that price, but it was so tiny. It looked pretty though, so everything was Instagrammable. And in my head, I was thinking, shit, so my dizzle, this will never make me full. It was actually not that good. Like, expensive food is not that good. And after that amazing fancy dinner, I made my way to McDonald's to eat more food because I'm broke and hungry. So I ate my chicken nuggets at McDonald's and that's when I got this amazing video idea. I was eating the McDonald's food and I thought, shizzle. This tastes better than that fancy food I just ate. And then a light bulb appeared over my head. So I thought I would make McDonald's food look fancy and it would taste good because to be honest, I think McDonald's tastes pretty good. And my goal was, was actually to hide the McDonald's ingredients so good that nobody notices that it's actually McDonald's food. The first thing I did was actually go grocery shopping. And yeah, while grocery shopping, my brother was actually with me. So at one point, I had to send him away so I could secretly buy the McDonald's ingredients. I went to McDonald's and I bought chicken strips, a few apple pies, hashtag fries, I don't know how to call them. In Austria, we call them Gitta pommes, but I'm gonna call them hashtag fries. And I also got a Big Mac, but I didn't use that because I don't know what to do with it, to be honest. My idea was to make an apple crumble pie out of the apple pies that I bought. The first step was cutting the apple pies and scraping off the apple filling. And then after that, I put the crust into a separate bowl. And then I added some rice milk because I didn't have normal milk. And then I took a hand mixer and mixed everything together. And I actually wanted to add eggs, but we didn't have any eggs. So I put some baby food powder in it and also some oats and a little bit of flour. And that's how I made the dough for the apple crumble pie. And then I had to make extra apple filling because the ones that I got from the apple pies was not enough. So I had to cut up the apples into small pieces. And I wanted to use a butter knife for that because I'm scared of really sharp knives because I don't want to cut myself and I'm really not good at cooking. So I use a butter knife, but that didn't work. So I had to use a real knife which sucked. I was so scared. <laughs> so once I cut up my apples, I added some lemon, some sugar, and some cinnamon on top. And then I put everything into a pan and added some apple juice. And then I let that cook for 10 minutes until the apples are really soft. And after that, I added the apple filling from the McDonald's. I put the dough in the oven. I spread the apple filling all over the dough. And I crushed some Belvita breakfast cookies, put everything on top of the apples. I feel like you cannot tell that this was McDonald's. Like, look at that apple pie. I made the dessert first. And with the main course, I really had no clue what to do. Honestly, I just cut up the chicken and then I put some olive oil into the pan, added some onions and garlic and tomatoes because I don't know, I just did that because I thought that was something to do when you cook stuff. And then I added the chicken and then I thought, shit, so what do 
this looks pretty McDonald's-ish. That's why I added some barbecue sauce and ketchup and then it started to look like something. It kind of looked like Asian food so that's what I was going for I guess. And then I had to do something with the hashtag fries. What I was actually planning to do was just put the hashtag fries into my waffle maker and add some cheese and it will make like a beautiful kind of potato chip whatever but that didn't work because it was pretty visible that the fries were from McDonald's so I had to tear the fries apart and added some cheese with it and then put it into the waffle maker that kind of failed too it didn't come out as one big circle it just fell apart so I put everything into a cupcake mold and I hoped that it would stay like that and it actually stayed like that. When I started to decorate the plate, I tried to put the chicken on the plate but it kind of looked messy so I had to put it back and take a new plate and then I had to fork every single chicken piece onto the plate to make it look pretty. I added the hashtag fries. It was missing a little bit of color so I added some basil and a little bit of watered down ketchup and I made this McDonald's food into this amazing Instagrammable gourmet food. And for the decorating of the apple pie, I added some vanilla ice cream and some chocolate sauce. I was pretty happy about the result and yeah, now you're gonna see my brother taste test everything that I made with McDonald's ingredients. Are you ready? Yeah. So start with this one, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, first the chicken. Tell me what it tastes like and if it's good or not. If it's too sour, sweet. It's good, but what is that sauce? Sauce. I made it. Okay, it's good. Really? Yeah, the chicken is good. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Is that cheese? Yeah. Okay, it smells good. A lot of cheese. Oh. Uh, but, yeah, it's good. Out of a scale from 1 to 10, how good was it? 9. 9? Yeah. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Too much cheese. <laughs> Too much cheese? Okay. I didn't taste the apple crumble pie. Okay, that's good. Better than this one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Another bite. <laughs> okay, no, I'm on diet. No oh, whatever. And from a scale from one to ten, how good is the apple crumble pie? Ten. Damn. It looks like restaurant food, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. I have a secret though. What is the secret? What? 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 <laughs> Everything I made is out of McDonald's food. It's so good, bro! <laughs> <laughs> it's good? Yeah! Did you even notice that it's from McDonald's? No. Really? Yeah, look this! Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for participating in this video. You're welcome. <laughs> no problem. Bye! Oh, bye. That was his reaction. Um, I guess it kind of tasted good. I don't know if he was trying to be nice about it, but yeah. But just so you know, my mother actually tasted the chicken thingy that I made and she said it tasted good. I didn't taste test it myself because I really don't like barbecue sauce, so I didn't want to taste it. <laughs> and yeah, that's basically it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to try this out, I would be so happy to see it, honestly. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time again. Bye-bye!